Hey guys, Dom here. Uh, I'm gonna have to apologize that this video is a little bit shitter than usual. I somehow managed to catch the plague, so it's, um, I might be coughing and doing all that sort of nasty shit in the video, but whatever, I'm human. And I wanted to get these on video before I, uh, I ship them out, because these are all gonna be shipped out today, and they're all going off to Urban EBC Supply. And I gotta just say huge thank you to those guys if you're watching. Just thank you so much for your patience because I know these took way longer than I said it would. But they're mostly done. These five are done uh, except for this one which needs to be tightened up a bit. And the rest of them, they're mostly done. They just need a bit of finishing work. And I'll just do that as I can. But anyway, so yeah, these are the friction folder batch I've been working on and I've been talking about these forever. These are all in ABL stainless steel with Asa stone wash blades and the logos on these actually hide away nicely inside the handle when they're closed. I know a lot of guys were thinking these might be flippers because of that tang that hangs out there, but these are friction folders. They're uh, more of a slow opening kind of a deal, more controlled than a flipper. Uh, advantage of this is that it's a much cheaper mechanism to, to make. It's probably the main one because uh, it means I can make a knife that, a folding knife that a lot more people can afford. And it also makes it a simpler knife and there's not a hole that can go wrong here. It's also just fun to own. I used to quite like it, the friction folder I had. I carried it for ages until I had to sell it to buy materials. Just a fun little knife, really. Uh, these are all also. These also all have uh, titanium handles, eighth inch, and the titanium has been given this nice blue distressed anno with a slight stone wash. If the camera would pick it up, that'd be nice, but they're stonewashed slightly. Just to kind of make, give that nice worn, beat up, rugged look, which contrasts nicely against the uh, the polished pins, sorry, the polished uh, pivots. And they actually do stick out a little bit. And that's for two reasons. A, I really like the look of it. And B, it kind of helps it act as a, a detent in the sheath, which helps in retention quite a bit. And uh, yeah, these are the sheaths for them, by the way. Just a basic little sheath. It's uh, it's extra long, just to protect the taint the titanium a bit. Because the way I picture these being carried is that you kind of just chuck in your front pocket with your keys and stuff, and then your keys kind of bump up against the leather and mark up the leather, and you get that really cool worn look on the leather and the uh, the nice knife inside of that, which gets kept pristine or well, semi pristine. So yeah, it's that one. And uh, these all come with uh, G10 backspaces as well. And the camera is just not playing along today. There we go. And I've started filing in a bit of jimping back here. Doesn't do shit, but I really like the look of it. So kind of just decided to roll with it. And the backspaces have also been heavily, heavily blasted to give that really cool texture in there. When you get these, they're gonna be fairly stiff. And that's on purpose. I tighten the crap out of these before I send them out. Because again, these are friction folders, so you don't want these to be flipping up and down real quickly. Like this one here is way too loose right now and I've got to tighten it up. Because what you don't want is a friction folder that can uh, kind of close on you when you do that. You want it to kind of be solid. So when I use this, for instance, that's what you want. You want a friction folder that doesn't fold in your hands when you do that. Uh, just a bit of a safety thing. If it's too loose, it's not a huge deal, but because uh, you do have this tang here that stops it, you know, closing your hands. Because you know you get, unless you move your hand out of the way, you're not going to cut yourself. But yeah, so yeah, a bunch of friction folders. These are all sharp as shit, all V grand, and I don't really know what else to say about these. To be honest, kind of. A, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and tighten this one up, pack these off, and they're all gonna get shipped off to uh, to the States. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.